Everyone, welcome to the Scouting Report. Greg Lawless and Andrew Wiebe in for the usual pair, Dan Hayek and Matt Doyle, but I did wear plaid in their honor. I missed the uh, memo. Yeah. What I happened? Forgot, I forgot to send the memo, that's yeah. why. Anyway, look. No memos needed as we head to the Western Conference Championship. The first leg between the Portland Timbers and Real Salt Lake. The match is on Sunday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Weeby, what's the headline for this Look, one? It's League Darlings against the Old Hands. Ooh, who are the League Darlings in this well, one? That would be the Timbers. Ooh, the Old Hands have been doing this for a while now. Well, they did have a rebuilding year, but not much rebuilding. They were just reloading. Look. This is the club's first ever meeting in the playoffs, basically because it's Portland's first ever playoff run. But it will be the fifth meeting between these two teams this year. They squared off three times in MLS play and once in the U.S. Open Cup. And you know what? RSL kind of stuck it to the Rose City, posting two wins and two draws in their four matches this year. Anything that we can take away from this? Look, I think Caleb Porter would have to agree. This RSL side, Greg, has been the toughest draw for him in his first year in charge. RSL is one of the few clubs in MLS that can actually keep the ball from Portland and minimize those costly turnovers that the likes of Diego Valeri, Darlington Nagby capitalize on the counterattack. But Portland does have to be encouraged, despite the blowout in RSL, despite that 3-3 draw at home early in the summer, by a scoreless draw on October 19th. I know that doesn't sound like something to be proud of. Look, you, you didn't create chances, but neither did Real Salt Lake. They did not have a shot on goal in that game, and they generally got the game bogged down in the midfield. If you're RSL, you do not want to have that happen, but they've got a problem. Will Alvaro Sabrio play in this match? He had to leave against the Galaxy. Maybe that right hip flexor, not in the best of shape. If he's not there, that's going to be a problem for them, but they still have to expect they're going to score some goals. Javier Morales missing in that scoreless draw. He's got two goals and assists in the previous two meetings this year. And Morales also looked very good against LA, created eight chances in the second leg of that. Now, anyway, talking about stats, that brings us to the WTF stat. 3.25. That's the total goals these two sides averaged in eight league meetings since Portland joined MLS. Right? Yeah, and look, Greg, I would lean toward more of the same. That scoreless draw I talked about, we know that that's not the norm, and we know that neither of these coaches or their squads are going to be content to sit back and let the other dictate play. If it's a case of anything you can do, it's I can do better. Your Argentine playmaker stockpiles goals and assists, hey, so does mine. Your midfield anchor is one of the league's best. Same here. The big question is how will RSL replace Sabario if he does not play? That could hurt, and you're looking at a guy in Ole Miss Garcia, perhaps a Robbie Finley, who have potential, but certainly don't have the track record of that Costa Rican striker. No, Sabo, a huge part of the RSL attack, and a huge part of the Portland attack brings us to man-to-man. -man. It's the Portland Timbers' Diego Valeri against RSL's Kyle Beckerman, and Beckerman, U.S. men's national team holding midfielder, but he's got his hands full in this one. Uh, he certainly does, Greg. Look, Valeri may well be playing himself into an MVP campaign. Apologies to Mike McGee, but there's probably nobody better to negate his effect than Beckerman, and it's not just on the defensive side of the ball. I think we know that Beckerman has that down. He's going to read the passing lanes. He's going to put in the right tackles, but if he can hold the ball, if he can be the mm. metronome that RSL uses to keep the ball out of Valeri's hands, that is going to be huge. He's not going to give the ball up in bad areas, and he's going to win the second balls that it seems like Portland likes to pick up and turn and go. If he can do that, Valeri's going to have a tough time, but of course, you still have to deal with Darlington Nagby, so we'll have to see how they track that as well. The biggest thing for Beckerman is, as you said, distribution perhaps, even more than his tackling. All right, Sunday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN and ESPN Deportes in the United States. It's on RDS2 and MLS Live up in Canada. The Western Conference Championship first leg. This is RSL Portland Part 5 in 2013. Let's get it on.